know the son in this duo, it's Chef Devin Rajkumar, joined by his lovely mom, Bano. So I am so happy to have you both with us today. And you've cooked with us before on the show, Bano. Yes. With Chef Dev. And her and I, we DM each other, you see. And I've been trying to get her back here. So this makes a lot of sense that you're here for the Mother's Day show. And I love that you're going to be making, we're making stew chicken and roti, which is a meal that you would serve at home for your for your boy. Yes. Um, tell me why you like yes. this one. Why yes. do you like this recipe? It's one of his favorites since he yes. was very young. It's comfort food for Devin. Yeah. Stew chicken and roti. This is the meal that when I'm traveling uh, and I come back home, Mom will always ask, she's so kind to ask, what would you like to eat? Because she knows I've been away for what a long mommy. time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's gotten to the point now where this is just ready. And mom has the roti at this stage before I come home, so it's fresh. Yeah, and she's making, and you make the roti, right? Yes. You don't yes. buy the roti like some of us do. You're no. making your, okay, yes, she's making it fresh. It's pretty fast and easy. It's pretty fast and easy, especially if you're a pro at it. So I know you want to get started on the stew. I've already started. Okay. What did you do over there, Chef? So we are going to start building the base. And I just want to make it very clear that this is mom's recipe. It is. This is a recipe that my mom makes that even though we have a written recipe for City Line, if you follow it at home, it'll be amazing. But me, if I follow it, it's not going to come out as if my mom makes it. Yeah, so yeah. let's start building flavor. Onions, garlic, ginger. And while I get this going, I think it's a good time for you to start this uh, roti paratha okay. recipe. So we have all-purpose flour. We'll mix in a bowl okay. along with some whole wheat flour. That's good that you mix the two together, I guess. Yes. It gives us that extra punch of fiber on. Huh? Yeah. And we've got some baking powder, mm -hmm. a pinch of salt. I also used to, like, growing up, I would kind of, like, not be the biggest fan of the whole wheat flour. But now, these days, that I'm starting to eat healthier yeah. and realize the importance of that, I'm all for it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't eat which kind of flour? Like, the white flour? I'd be like, oh, whole wheat flour. Why can't I have, like, oh, white roti yeah. like my it. other That's friends? That's my yes. son now. His That's friends my son got now. white so... roti at their house. Yeah. I wish you'd make white rotis. You're like, no, it's so got to be a little go. bit healthy, kid. <laughs> right? After forming a well, we'll start mixing the water gradually nice. until it forms a dough. Okay, so I love the fact that you're making it fresh. And this is something that you're going to see. I mean, I grew up with uh, friends who are Guyanese, and there was always fresh roti. Like, roti was something that was constantly in rotation. Yes. It wasn't reaching in the fridge to get a loaf of bread. It was making the roti every day. So you become such a pro on it. When you have to come on TV and do it, it's like... You actually have to think about writing out the steps for us, right? I because do. it's so automatic. I do. And it's so hard. <laughs> I mean, Devin whips out the recipe in no time, but for me, it's a little harder. Yeah. Now, we'll form this into a dough, okay. into a nice round ball, and cover it with a damp paper towel. Okay. So I'll set that aside, and I've already got... Now, that... That mixture will provide four rotis for my family. Okay. And for us, we usually have very thin rotis. Mm. For some people, they'll make two rotis out of that. Or for the, you know, bus up shirt, you probably use one. That's that right. That whole dough to make it. Because you want so, it thicker. That's right. Yeah. So okay, so now we have our, and it sat there for a one, while, yes. and now we're going to roll we'll, it out? We'll let that sit for 10 minutes okay. or so with a damp paper towel. And we've got two of these. So are you gonna are you gonna let me help you? Sure. Shall I are you start gonna be it? like my mom? And, sure. Yeah, you start Should it. Should I start it? Every time I start doing something in the kitchen with my mom, she's like, "Well, hold on. This is how you do it." So let's just see how this is gonna because go. Because we want to we want to make sure there's enough flour to yeah. to move it around. And there this looks go. easy, but if you haven't done this Not before, to me, it, it, can doesn't. Be, it can be very challenging, okay. right? Just go to it, Tracy. Just be careless. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Look at, just whatever. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Flip it over. Now, do the rotis have to be proper and round? I hear that that's yeah. what you need to find a proper husband. There's a, <laughs> and, and on a my round page, roti. On my page, when there we do go. like uh, when we do over. these videos, Tracy? those yeah. are all the comments. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah, it's a because typical like Guyanese flour. West Indian. East I have to Indian. learn how to make a round roti. How yeah. did I get Leo? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you making want? it round and then clapping it. When well, we're gonna get yeah. to that. Do you put oil in the pan, Mom, when you do it? Not, no. Not for the first no, part, right? No. Oh, you so don't. This guy goes okay. Down. So, Tracy, let's do this. All right. Let's so have, you're putting a bit we'll of oil let on Devin it. Let Devin do his thing. Let's let's this, 
Okay, this, that so one. let's move on to the stew then yeah, while so this is doing its thing. Go onions, ahead. Onions, ginger, garlic, salt, some really key ingredients that mom uses are smoked paprika. Uh -huh. That goes into the mix. We're going to add cumin. This is cumin that's been parched, which means that it's been toasted. A oh. uh, very Guyanese thing, a uh, mm. very East Indian thing as well. Yeah. It enhances the flavor. Like a garam masala, a hot spice blend, is typically toasted off before you grind it. Okay. We take the flavor up. Let's come in with some allspice. And I don't see this recipe anywhere else. This is kind of proprietary to mum. Yeah. We're very peppers from Guyana, yep. which are just incredible, great flavor. We're going to throw them in. I'm not even going to burst them. Okay. I want to mix this around and just get everything coated. This is where the color of the stew starts to come. Now I'm going to come in with the chicken, and mm -hmm. I want to I cook the chicken and get it really nice and uh, coated with the spices. And you're using bone-in uh, chicken. Critical. Critical. This, this is how, uh, this is traditional for mum. I know back in Guyana, this is definitely how it would be, but there's also so much more flavor. Yeah. And we're getting a better yield. Yeah. And I love the bone. Yeah. So what's happening here? Because this thing's starting to it's swell. It's bubbling up. Is that what we're, that's what's supposed to happen, Benno? Once you see the bubbles, the first time you put it on, it's time to flip it over. Got it. And then I put a, base it with some ghee and oil yeah. mixture. I flip it, make sure both sides are covered, and then you flip it back. Got it. And it's okay. important to mention that roti is uh, essentially what's happening. But once you introduce fat, oil, or ghee, that turns into paratha. Oh, but I've always okay. known it as roti. We call it roti. Right, right, And not right. roti, roti. Roti. There's a T in that. Yeah. And before it gets to that stage, yeah. this is how we will, we will prepare it. So we slip down the middle to the circumference and oh. start forming a funnel. Okay. And this is the magic. Moving. This keep is the moving. magic. You yeah. take the end that's left, tuck it in the bottom. Yeah. Now everybody will know how to make a roti. You tuck it in the bottom. Well, nice, I can't do that, nice but I like eat. watching it. <laughs> and now we stick the top, you form it into a disc, yeah. and it's ready. So hold and on a second. Did you do that so that it's layered in there? Yes. Oh, that's how you get Good. all the layers. Yeah. Yes, yes. OK. So now, over here, right. the weary, weary peppers that are in here, I can burst them to make it spicy. But I know dad at home doesn't like it spicy, so my mom won't burst them. Yeah. Me, I like bursting them. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. from here, I can add in my water. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to now stew it. So I cover it yep. with a lid, give it one more mix. And now we're going to simmer this for a good half an hour. And good. I think mom uh, can clap. This is what the finished dish looks like. I really want to show. And mom, let's clap. The and show. stew looks amazing. Yeah, it's next That's level. That's beautiful, but That's I need to my... see this roti being clapped. So this is clapping. Oh. This will tenderize the roti. That's if you're not a trained like professional, this is going to burn your hands completely. You won't be able to do it. <laughs> Okay. So I posted a video uh, on my page before mom cooking roti, and everyone's like, how does she clap it? Hands yeah. of steel. Yeah. I mean, I, even me, I suffered. But mom, you can put it in a, a, a kitchen rag. Oh, in a kitchen towel. Yeah, or paper yeah. bag. You put it in a kitchen but towel. But tell me what's happening bag. when you clap it, because that's the difference between like a tortilla or a pita and a roti. That's great. Like that, like it, you know what I mean? It's the soft. layers it's tenderizing. and. tenderizing. And it's yeah. soft. Yes. Nice. So you break a piece off. You yeah. Know, do you want to try it? Nice soft. Yeah, I do. Yeah, here, come. Yes, please. I do. So it's can you just, uh, can I, well, can I just dip it? Yeah, well, I, I know don't you... know if we got the shot yet, but oh well, guys. Yeah, you can I'm take a little bit. It. You taste the flavor. Mm hmm. A nice soft roti. Mm -hmm. The whole wheat so flour, good. it's hard to get it that soft. Oh, it's so fresh. It's soft. Mm. Yeah. It's simple to make, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I want you to just come over and do it for me, Benno. <laughs> I will. I will. So one thing we don't make at home is roti. Find this recipe up at CityLine.tv. It is so...